Good morning, guys. It's one of those mornings. 25th. Merry Christmas. Anybody who has been watching this channel for a long time knows that, uh, yes, I fell into the uh, physics, physics, mathematics without understanding mathematics and physics, but I just have this geometric idea of geometry. Um, And I've been following many different kinds of hunches, but they seem to be falling in place together. And it's um, not just me, there are others. Um, there is stuff that I knew before, for example, that um, when we are conscious, and when they're looking at the fractal dimension of thoughts, which they can do, because they, you get the information out of the brain, you can calculate the uh, fractality of it. And fractals are these swirling Mandelbrot-like looking things that, <coughs> well, Mandelbrot, it's this spiky thing and uh, fractal mathematics. And the more I have thought of this all, like I've just, I've had this nagging feeling that these things somehow connect. And so, when we are conscious, the fractal dimension of our thoughts is higher. But this is this is not bullshit. This is actually it's a real thing. There is taken, I guess, how spiky, how self-repeating the form is. They can say the fractality. Like from here, we can already say that this initial layer of this, like a, I gave a I gave a constraint for. Um, this super complicated field thing. This is what I called magic box back in the day. This is kind of like what really got me into this. When we go deeper into this magic box and we are looking at this form, we can see it's getting more and more complex. Uh, this sort of stuff is also in quantum form. And um, so if you let this thing develop, it starts to do more and more complex stuff. As you guys notice, it, it's in the end of the day and it's constrained into a box because uh, well a uh, computer has limited memory and so forth we can't do unlimited simulation but this was kind of a stuff i started to think about but okay so fractal dimension is higher when we are conscious uh, the video i showed you guys yesterday uh the right out of eeg with um we get the similar similar crystal stuff so we are having we are having uh here in the beginning i said i said three different eeg ins so we had we had a frontal lobe we had uh occupied a lobe, so back of the brain and i think this was temporal a temporal lobe and we did uh so this is interference interference we did a fast fourier transform Fast Fourier transform, then we did the interference between these two, and we had this one, Fast Fourier transform, and then we did an interference between this and this. And so we got this massive super interference pattern from different parts of brain. Then we did eigenmode transform here, so we fed it to this crystal system, turned it into um, turned it into uh, we did fast Fourier transform and uh, we are looking at that end product of three parts of brain and we got this uh, we get these crystals once again and these crystals of course they could be in three dimensions uh, i guess this is this is where logic human logic uh, ends but we could have more dimensions it could be the multi-dimensionality we can never understand it but ai works with the same multi-dimensionality but we get geometric forms and of course we are adding a lot of maths in a way that we are doing the fast Fourier transform here and so forth but brain does things like fast Fourier transform. Evolution has led, for example, when you are listening, we have the cochlea, which is it's a kind of like a seashell looking thing. And it starts bigger and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and it has the hairs. And uh, so the 
bigger part of it kind of I guess represents a higher frequency uh, lower frequencies I think and as it gets smaller and smaller it uh, detects higher and higher frequencies and that form is fast forward transform put into a freaking evolution has developed that bone like thing with those hairs that it perfectly does this automatically so brain does this sort of stuff automatically but this morning as I'm thinking of what I've been doing uh, so this was from last February something and this of course if anybody remembers magic box when we constrain it to a box and we do reset it does these ridiculous forms which is kind of like started to make me wonder what the hell am I looking at here and what this was this was uh, this was a idea that also as I was thinking about it I just get these random ideas and I run with them for a day or two or a month or three and <clears throat> this was this was um, the idea was that what if fields model like fields and of course EEG does that like EEG brain data of frequencies it's known lower frequencies delta modulates theta theta modulates alpha alpha modulates beta beta modulates gamma and this is what thinking is it's frequency modulation this is what's happening in the brain but usually the like when my brain uh, brain was looked at they look at the they look at this the boring spectral lines the boring spectral lines that are doing the graph like when you are listening to music equalizer is going up and down up and down and what that is of course you have your 86 billion neurons they are firing and firing and firing and firing and they're producing if we take it into something like this they're producing something like this and if you look at the interference patterns the interference patterns like here you guys can see magically we once again got this four four by four thing here and if anybody has been watching i had to like i was looking at all of this and i created these oscillating systems where frequencies turn into well i'll just show you guys the well, frequencies turn into uh Geometry. Geo frequencies turn into geometry. And the geometry gets more complex when you awake. Think about that for a while, guys. Think about that for a while. These things that look like this get more complex as we are conscious. The fractal dimension gets higher or lower. Fractal dimension analysis of states of consciousness and unconsciousness using transcranial magnetic stimulation. We found that fractal dimension is significantly lower in sleep and sedation when compared to wakefulness and provides an almost perfect intrasubject discrimination between conscious and unconscious states. We have more complex forms in our thoughts when we are awake. Fractal forms. And as the modulation is happening when we do our mathematics which brain does naturally brain does naturally this stuff of course like what we are doing here we are applying the so-called eigenmodes the eigenmodes so we this is kind of what we get from the pure interference from the fast Fourier transform that then but then we are turning them into eigenmodes but eigenmodes are these modes that the brain is running like the mm, as the through the wiring the signal is going it has these different frequency modes but stuff like this is bound to happen in the brain this geometric calculations
this was one paper I asked from Croc to, Croc to think about this stuff. And of course now I'm not looking at the maths, I'm not even reading the paper, I'm just running with this idea in Hunts of Geometry and has been, have been running for, for a while. And my little question is, um, what does it mean? What does it mean? If I take the Jewish star from here, um, Let's see, let's look at the... If I take the Jewish star here, what we noticed was that when we give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, when we give 5 frequencies, we load an EEG here and um, we amplify the signal and we are giving them to this so-called uh, this is self-consistent resonance mode this turns the uh, EEG into uh, these eigenmodes and we run the system and something is not running ok now it's running so we are getting the EEG and oh, I think we have to boost this a little bit Let's, well I don't think we have to even boost it but when we are feeding the EEG signal, when we are feeding the five frequencies, what we end up is the Jewish star. When we give the main frequencies of the human brain, delta, theta, alpha, beta, come on. It just happens. It just happens. It's just it's just mathematics. It's bound to happen. It's not a It's just this world. If we take the laws of this world where we are in the physics, the constraint of this world, five frequencies, five main frequencies of human brain, and you get the Jewish star. If we remove it so that we only get one, we get the block. If we get two, I think it was a, a diamond shape. When we get three, if we start to get more complex. When we get to five, yes, then we get the Jewish star. And um, this happens with these calculations on this sort of a system. But uh, it's not just me. Others have found the same thing that when you do these sorts of things, you're looking at brain, you start to get these sorts of forms. Personally, um, my anecdote, uh, what kind of has been right, right, making me think about this a lot is because yes, I have right tempo missing. I have epilepsy. so. I was just checking, did I take my meds? I did. Once I was on a withdrawal from epilepsy meds and I started to see fractals. This was 2019 and I was like, what the freaking frick? And uh, there was a time when it was a common occurrence to me. Uh, earlier than that already, when I was younger, I had these vision things, blue things floating in my vision. So this thing interests me. The brain does interest me. It, it's, it's, it's a personal, personal thing. Um, other people are proud that this is scary, but this is my life. I have brain damage, this interests me. Why does my brain do this? Why do neurons do this? But so this is bound to happen. Now the, the question this morning that I was thinking was, so our brain is naturally dealing with symbols. Our brain is naturally dealing with geometry, mathematically speaking. The fractal dimension, the fractality, is higher when we are conscious. When we are conscious, uh, these forms, I guess, get more complex. The yesterday's workflow that I had, well, I can just watch video, I'm not gonna set it up, but um, yesterday's workflow was exploring this idea in a way that, so with five frequencies, we get the two star what happens when we get put more of them this workflow uses 256 and it's not just running from one EEG it's taking the same EEG from multiple parts of the brain and what's bound to happen then it's also looking at different time windows it's bound to what's bound to happen is that it's looking at kind of like different parts of the EEG so and what happens? We get more and more complex patterns. The geometry gets ever more complex. 
and there are like if you pay attention what what happens is that for example here the cross it can be this way it can be that way and just coincidentally uh, as of late you know, every now and then I get these after images when I'm staring at the screen for a long time and I see text and the text is somehow twisted this way and just coincidentally brain happens to have our areas of brain that do this sort of stuff it's known I think at, at least uh, ChatGPT said, I'm not sure if it's not, uh, true, but that uh, temporal lobe damage, it can happen that sometimes vision after images can do this sort of stuff. And why? I guess the visual processing is disturbed, but this morning, oh, what interests me. And the thought I was thinking about last night, as I had trouble sleeping, was as the brain is doing this, the neurons are firing, so they are just, they are just, they are just fire, 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 fire. They have the memory, they have the membrane, the whole neuron is each in with individual neuron. You sum that by the six billion. You think of all of this super complicated thinking going on, and under it, it there is something like this: the geometry, consciousness. How are they linked? And others have thought of this too, but language, um, logic, could there be geometric language lying underneath? And what would the geometric language be like? Because this is just, this is just, just a geometry turned into two-dimensional image. Of course, in the brain it would be just that there are these certain sorts of things, certain sorts of things that keep on happening, but these certain sorts of things have they learned some sort of a computer-like discussion which happens faster than, uh, of course faster than, kind of like if, if you think of computer, when a code is running uh, the computer, we see the end result and we, we are the end result. And when that computation, when it's disturbed, then you start to get these, like, uh, all suddenly have a fractal in your vision, or suddenly your brain does something funny, or you misspeak, or... <sighs> yeah, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about this morning, and... I guess it's kind of a silly of me to think about this. I think uh, smarter people should be thinking about this. But yeah, so Merry Christmas for everybody. And I don't know, I don't know if there's any point of me. I don't know what the heck is driving me into this, but yeah. Anyway, Merry Christmas for those who are celebrating, and I hope you all are well.